People are liking the prison stories, so I'm going to keep going. But just to say, just do the trolls' heads in. Don't forget to push the like buttons at all at once because people will realise uh, it does their heads in more. So, yeah, so I was in there, uh, got remanded to Home House for the driving offence I was telling you about before. So I was at court, I got nicked. Full land response come to mum's caravan park where she was at. I nicked me at the caravan park and took me to court and remanded me for a driving offence. So if I can stop a driving offence, I got remanded for it. So I goes to home house, I'm in home house, and there's a lad in there telling me he's going to have a fight with me. So anyway, a few, a few years before it, he had, he had a bit of trouble with him. They're not friends with him in the end, but a few years before it, there was a couple of lads who used to work for me. Molly from Red Cat and another kid, he's passed away, Molly now, nice kid. And, uh, he goes to Redcan and tries to tax them. And he, so Speedy phones me up and says, listen, this fucking such and such, I don't want his name. It's fucking causing trouble. He's got a gun. He's telling me he's going to shoot you. But the gun he had was like one of them ones, you know, like fucking Dick Turpin. One shot. He says to my mate, Chano, I'm going to fucking shoot Colin. I'm going to bite his nose off. Anyway, I, I did to respond with. So I goes to Redcar looking for him because he was in Redcar. So the, in Redcar, it's a, um, you know, the old Victorian house is where the four or five stories high. What you see in Downton Abbey. Not as big as that house, but like the ones in the in the, in the area. So I goes up from anyway. Speedy's with us in, in his car. So we goes up and they went. I was on there. He's in that flat at the top. So it was like three stories high. We've gone in. The, the steps are horrible in them houses. You're going up them. I'm a size twelve feet. So I'm going up the steps. I'm listening for him because he's got a, fucking got a firearm and he's careful. He's done armed robberies. He's been done for a shooting. I'll mention that later on. Don't put a kidnapping done for a shot of lad as well so he's dangerous so I'm in the fucking I'm coming up the stairs and I'm across the door opens the door and I'm in there and then I felt the kettle it was fucking red hot so he's in the house so I'm looking well, he's got no car off in the front so he's definitely in because he's just been trying to tax the lads around the, around the house he's only taxed a few other lads anyway I've gone looking for him and biggest lad about 15, 16 stone fucking proper game so Speedy's in there looking for him looking for him but we could hear him breathing where the fuck are you I could hear him breathing he was in the room where the fuck is he? I'm looking all over anyway. What he'd done is he pulled on the settee, your big long settee, he pulled out the, the guts of it and he put like put like a little bar across him so he'd get in there and pull it on top of himself so it looked look like the settee. So I pulled it up and it's all come up. So he's inside the settee. Maybe I fucking pulled him out the settee and ragging him out and he's having to go back with me. It's really he's watching the fight anyway. I'm fucking having to go over there anyway. He's, he's shouting, Who are you? Who are you, Sean? Because he'd never he'd only heard of me, he'd never seen me. So I'm going, wait, I'll fucking smash your fucking face in. Where are you fucking quit him? I'm ragging him up. And he's pulled, covering up like the really, like a peekaboo style on the floor. And he's strong, really strong in him. I'm throwing him about. So I grabbed these, the sunbed, he must have had the sunbed lights changed. So I've grabbed the lights to hit him with, like that. And I bit myself in the face and caught me on the fucking eye. With sharpness of them sunbed tubes. I bit myself and they went, I'll fucking kill you. So I've got a telly and I'm hitting with a telly and everything. Bob will tell you about 14 inch telly or something. And I've grabbed him and I've got him at the railings. Now on the bottom, you know them Victorian houses, they've got them big spikes. No sticking like that so you can't climb over the fence. I thought, I'm pale the cunt and he's speedy. Get his fucking feet. I throw him out the window. No, he's gone. No, he's grabbed. He's holding onto the lad's legs and I've fucking lost it. I'll fucking kill you, cunt. I'm trying to throw him out the top of the window of a Victorian fucking building house and try to impale him on the fucking uh, spikes at the bottom. Now, you, remember, you remember they've got the black and the big spiky fucking fence things. So anyway, he fucking got pulled him back in it with a couple of body shots and he's fucked and he back bust his nose. He's, he's, he's laid there, he's going, I, I won't do it again, I won't do it again and all this fucking shit. So I've warned him anyway, so it's all sorted. So that's it done. So he's, got, he's in jail anyway, he gets done for an armed robbery, he goes in a fish shot with a shotgun and gets caught. That's where he got caught, he was in there anyway, and he went and home house. So I got caught for, never got done for that, he never made a statement on me, never grasped me, he's, never, he's not one of them lads. So anyway, I goes and later on, about a couple of months later, I got pulled in at the Mount Caravan Park and I got remanded for a fucking driving offence. No, there's nothing on my record, just a driving offence. So I got remanded and I got remanded to Home House. So I'm in Home House, it's about 1994, I think it was. Yeah, 94, maybe, maybe 95, 95, could be 95. So I'm in there anyway. Yeah, 95 it was. So I'm in 95 and Big Irish Jimmy from Artipo was in. The lads from Artipo knew me. And there was quite a few other people in there who knew me from Hartlepool, like a lot of lads, a lot of Stockton lads. And he said, oh, that's such and such a scene. He's had a fight with you and he's beat you up and he's flat and he's going to do this and he's going to do that. So I'm ignoring it. I thought, I'm going to get fucking kicked. I'm going to get fucking in the block. 
So I'm in there and everyone's like, hey, Brian, hey, Brian. And so there was another kid from South Bank. He was in there with me as well. And what they used to do in there on the floor, no mouse, the, the doors were open like that underneath. You know, when you shut your doors and your pad, the doors were open about that much. So what lads do, they get a mirror and a piece of wool off the, you know, off the uh, bedding. They make it and they put it through the, because you can hook, put it through a little hole and put it up as a shaving mirror. But what they do is they put a bit of tack on, they'll put it with a bit of maybe, um, put a bit of uh, cannabis on or whatever they're doing, or drugs, whatever they put on, and they slide it like that, woof, right across the floor into the other, under part of the, the other side of the wing. And it'll go through under the door and they'll, they'll pull it, if they don't do it, they'll pull it back through with the rope and do it until they get it, it slides right across the floor, right under the doors. And that's how they used to pass the gear about in there, unless we're next door to each other to put out the windows and it's called fishing. You put your arm out and you catch it, they, they throw it like, like a bag like that on a piece of string and it land on that person and they catch it and then they'd go like that and they'd put their arm out and they'd catch it and they'd pass it right the way around the fucking jail to someone. That's how they used to do it. They'd all pass it on to each other so then there's somebody going screw, screw and they'd all help each other out the windows because you couldn't see to be blind. There'd be people with mirrors out the windows looking to see where the screws were and that. And that's how they used to pass the gear on. So get back to this lad. He's across the road from me in the pad telling him he was going to fight me. So anyway, I fucking... And Jimmy went, he's telling me because he's going to have a fight with you. Watch him, he's going to fucking start when he's going to have a fight with you. And he's trained, he's a little bit bigger as well. Probably put a store on, not being on any drugs, being in there. So I've come out and you, you go into the canteen, you go down and you go down the two couple of steps, you go into the canteen. He said, I went, you daft cunt. He went, oh then, oh then, he's shouting to me. So he's jumping about and went, bang, fucking hit him, foot and then I fucking hit him. He went, fucking flying. He went to come back, but another went, fucking come on, and he ran off. And the screws are coming, fucking, uh, well, break it up. So I went to be part. Next day they've come, Moses they called the screw. He was, in, he was in Durham as well, this one. And he was a half cast lad. And he went, come on, you, get your stuff. He said, uh, you have to go down and see such, such. And he would have put me in the fucking, blo put me in the, in the block in this fucking cell. It's only tiny, you know, mouse. And uh, I'm in there for about five days. Anyway, he'd come round, right? Got to go and see the governor. I went down to the governor. He said, right, for your own safety, we're going to move you from this jail to Durham. What it was, they were moving me because I had that much fucking power and I'm from this area, Stockton, Middlesbrough, Darlington, all them people, all them, all know me from here, Billingham and all them people know me. So I had too much power in that fucking jail, so they moved me from there to Durham to quiet me down. So yeah, that's a little story again. So the lad ended up being friends with me, shaking my hands and that in the end, later on in life, then come to the house, shook his hand in there. Yeah, just another story in the day, but yeah, thanks very much for that one.